Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to draw a surface to a view or a camera. You know with Game Maker Studio 2 they introduced cameras, uh, cameras which are a great way to uh, control your view. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple camera and um, how to draw a surface to the, to the view screen um, so that your surface does not have to uh, take up the whole room. I mean, the surface will follow the view, you can just draw stuff to it and it will be all beautiful and performance saving and enhancing and all that stuff. Um, before we get started, why don't you go ahead and go down below and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can get uh, updates on um, more videos to come this way. I've got a lot of great stuff coming in the future, so if you could show your support, that would be awesome. Whatever you can do, hit the like button, um, comment below, let me know what you would like to see. Let me look, know what you would like to see different. Um, and, and I'll do my best to try to, to serve the community and, and make the Game Maker Studio community uh, better overall. Um, all right, so let's get started. Um, so the first thing we need to do is, let's say you already have um, your character, you can move around. Um, so you need to have a camera set up. Uh, if, you haven't, if you don't have a camera set up, I'll show you how to go, go ahead and show you how to do that real quick, so just for the purpose of this video. Um, or you can also click the link below there. I have a video tutorial on how on, on a, a total 2d camera Which pretty much shows you everything you need to know about uh, having a 2d camera, you know, including uh, smooth zooms and uh, smooth follows and everything like that, but uh, I'll go ahead and create a object I'm gonna call my, ob my object camera one because um, I already have uh, camera in this which I'm going to be using but I'm just going to use this right here to show you how to create a camera so we don't need any sprites on that whoops we don't need any sprites on that so let's get started So I'm just going to create the camera like using this method. There's a bunch of different methods, but uh, for me, this one. Actually, I'm going to use the view that I have. So um, before you get started, let's go ahead and make sure you have in your room enable viewports uh, checked. And then under viewport zero, you check visible. Then you have your width and your height that you want. So I have 1260 by 720. I'm going to also put that as my camera height and width. And you can just uh, fill in these variables like I have done. And what's wrong here? Let's see. Nothing. Oh, something was wrong. View, view set camera. And we're going to set the camera to the view. Like that. And that should be a zero for view zero. Um, then you're going to set your follow. We'll set mine to object player. And uh, that's all we need for now. I'm going to go into the step event and um, x equals x, y equals. So really this should be give you what you need for your camera, um, at least to create a camera and have a camera that follows your um, player. Like I said, if you want a more in-depth understanding of the camera and a better overall camera, just click the link in the description below. It'll take you to my um, Total 2D camera YouTube video. Um, I'm going to delete this because I already have a camera set up which has all that stuff in it. As you can see, it's got all this all this good stuff. So yeah, check it, check that video out if you need to. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create object, object service. So this is going to be our service which is going to connect with the camera and follow the camera 
and display only on the viewport. So um, as you can see here in this illustration, the um, the camera, the view just falls around the camera, um, doesn't take up a lot of memory, and it's just it's better overall for performance, um, especially if you're using a large room. Um, so I'm going to come over here to create my create event. And in the create event, I'm going to do global global var surface. Let me just make that surf equal so create my surface um, and what's going on here okay um, so so basically um, what you want to remember if you have a zoom on your camera so you want to create the surface to be at the maximum uh, width of that zoom so you, so if you zoom out you don't uh, see any so your surface is not being cut off um, so basically um, you want to set this once um, you can there's a way to resize your surface but if you do that every step it's going to use up a lot of um, memory and uh, slow your slow your game down so resizing your surface is probably going to give you a huge drop in FPS but uh, there is a way to do it but I like to set my surface to be a certain size um, and then leave it at that size um, so that's all we need is to do there is create the surface next thing we need to do is a draw the surface so I'm going to create a draw event and draw event I'm going to do var first I'm going to get the I'm going to get the camera's X and Y position Vx, Rvy, change that to Y. Got the camera's X and Y positions, and so every time you do something with the service, you want to check to see if the service exists first. And if not, you will have to um, create the service because sometimes uh, Game Maker likes to delete uh, stuff out of the memory. So um, you want to make sure that you recreate the service if it's deleted. So if As this, I can type the if, if the service does not exist, um, and then we're just going to copy this right here, paste it right there. So we're going to create the service again if it's not already created, um, and then we're going to draw the service. Draw the surface, uh, Vx at Vy. At x scale, y scale will be 1. Rotation is 0. Um, color is to be white. And the alpha is going to be 1. So um, basically what we have at this point, um, I can't really show you anything because the surface, of course, is invisible. Um, but basically what you have at this point is a surface which is created in the create event and is going to be drawn to the okay so the x and y position of the surface is at the top left so the origin is the top left of the surface say up here in this point and you have your surface here now the that x y position is going to be drawn um, at the view of the global camera so the view is of course at the the top left of your viewport um, so your service is now being drawn from there all the way across and down, down into the um, to the right. So right now, um, you you have a service which is moving with the camera. Um, now there's a special now this is something you need to do in order to draw things to the surface, which is going to require just a tiny bit of uh, subtraction math, and I'll show you that. So we're going to create an in step event. And in the end step event, this is where we're going to draw all of our stuff. 
Um, so we're not going to be using the draw event to draw things to our surface. We're going to be using the end step event. Um, if you want to do this in each of your objects, you can as well. So if I go to object player and I want to draw the player sprite to the surface, I'm going to draw a step event and go to the end step and I'm going to draw it to the surface there. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but I just want to explain something to you real quick. Um, the reason that we're, the reason that you don't always want to do it in the step event of each of your objects, you can, um, but for performance, it's going to be better to draw everything in the end step event of your service object. So um, basically, every time you uh, reset a service target, you service that target and reset the target, every time you do that, um, it, it creates a batch reset. So um, that can create a little bit of a slowdown in your system. Um, now, you can do it. I haven't really tested it, so you can draw it in the instep event of your player or your instep event of whatever you're drawing to the surface. Um, I haven't tested it, but if you want to test it, that's fine. Um, or you could draw it in the instep event of your service. It doesn't matter where you draw the sprites. It doesn't matter um, as long as it's done in the instep event. So um, you can do it here, but I'm going to go ahead and do it in the object player instep event. So. I have my sprite here. I'm going to mark that. I'm going to show what it looks like now. Let's take a drink of water. All right, so that's what it looks like now. I have my camera. My surface is there, but you won't be able to see it. It's just kind of there. Nothing's being drawn to it yet. In the in step event of my camera, I'm going to do. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Go to my camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm lost. All right, so the draw event. Let me grab that from the draw event. I'm going to go to my player and the end step event of my player. I'm going to add those variables there. So I'm going to get the X and Y positions of and I may not need these, but I'm going to grab them anyway. Um, the other thing I want to do is, oh, that's all I need. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do uh, the same thing as I did here. I'm going to check if that service exists. If not, I'm going to create it. Create that surface, and then I'm going to do surface set target. So um, I've checked the X and Y position of my camera, which is this, the X and Y position of my surface. I've checked if my surface exists, and I've created if it hasn't, and I've set my target to be the surface uh, that we created. So now that I've got my target on my surface, I'm going to draw my sprite. So I'm just going to do draw sprite extension, do sprite index. I'm going to mark this as not visible just for the purpose of drawing to the surface. Okay, so this is the important part. X and Y scales, um, excuse me, X and Y position. So whenever you draw, so whenever you're drawing this to the, the application service or to your room, you always draw to the X, Y position of the room, but we're drawing, we've set our target as a service. So now we're drawing to the surface. So the surface has its own X and Y position. So it starts it up here at zero, zero. This will be this position right here. So if I draw this to the X and Y positions of the room, it's going to read that as drawing to the X, Y position of the surface, and it's going to be way off. It's not even going to be right. So what I need to do is take the X, Y position of my object and subtract the X, Y position of my surface. That will give me the X, Y position of where it would be on the surface. So simple math for that is going to be X, 
minus vx and y minus vy. That's it. A lot of explaining, very simple to do. Um, actually, these need to be So I'm just putting all the built-in variables here. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna do every time I'm draw done drawing, Surface reset target. I'm going to do something real quick here. Just to test something. I want to test something real quick. Oh, one, one more thing I need to do. Okay, so um, this is another reason that I. Uh, do this in the service event so that all this is done at once. So I'm going to copy this go to the end step, paste that. Okay, so I'm right here I need to do so if we draw this, if we're drawing this stuff to the surface it's going to stick there. So we need to clear the surface every step. Draw clear alpha, C, black. That's going to clear our service and draw nothing on the service. No, make that a zero. Draw clear alpha, C, black, zero on the object surface in step event. All right, so now let's see what happens when we run this. Ah. Oh, I need to drop my, I drop this surface into the room. Let me change that. Is that up? Oh. All right. Uh, so it's not showing up. Um, so you may run into this problem. Let me try something. Do a little bit of experimentation. Change this to. begin step. All right, there we go. All right, so I changed into the object surface. I changed that to begin step. So at the beginning of the step, we are going to clear the surface. And then in our objects, in the end step, we're going to draw this stuff at the end. So we're clearing at the beginning, drawing at the end. Um, and basically that's it. Uh, that's how you create a surface that follows your camera and uh, you draw things to the surface. Uh, and um, as seen in the prior prior video I showed you, um, it's good for like lighting engines or anything like that. You you know whatever you need to um, is, is a lot of use for having a service that can move with the camera. So um, you know good luck with whatever you have. Uh, and if you guys uh, would um, enjoy this video please give me a like and a comment uh, please subscribe to this channel I've got more great videos like this coming up thank you for watching and have a good night